Hi everybody and let's talk football. It's Delayla Crespo here with another episode of Diversity with Delayla. All right, so let's get into it. So today I want to talk to you about Alberto Rivero, first Hispanic NFL official. Way back in some of my original episodes of Diversity with Delayla, I did explain the difference between officials and referees because it is different, at least when it comes to the NFL. There's one referee, everyone else are officials or officiates. Anyway, so <laughs> so he's the first NFL, uh, Hispanic NFL official, or Haiti. So, uh -uh. Alberto. Alberto was born in Cuba in 1960. His father was also Alberto, who fled to the United States in 1963. At the age of five and a half, Riveron emigrated to the United States with his mother, Irene Valdez, on a freedom flight. Although his parents were divorced, they still lived close to each other in Miami and, uh, and were in each other's lives for the sake of their children. Alberto grew up playing baseball, basketball, and football, and he was quarterback of his high school football team. His interest in officiating began in 1977 when he was invited to attend a football official's clinic. After six weeks of training, he began officiating in the Pop Warner League, taking up to six games, uh, six games a day. He moved on to high school games and by 1990 was officiating college games. He started in the now defunct Southern Independent Collegiate Officials Association, which included teams such as Miami and Notre Dame. In 1993, Riveron joined the Big East Conference, officiating for six years as a field judge and a side judge. In 2000, Riveron moved to Conference USA and spent the next three years working there as a referee. His supervisor was a veteran official, Gerald Austin, who recommended him for the now defunct NFL Europe. So many things, as you know, have come and gone when it comes to football. For two years, Diveron officiated just uh, 10 days in Europe, kind of over those two years. Not a lot of games, but obviously that NFL Europe didn't work out. <laughs> All right. In 2004, the NFL hired Diveron as a side judge. Mike Pereira, the NFL's uh, and Pereira, sorry, the NFL's vice president for officiating, said, "You can't teach the confidence and decisiveness with which he does things." Thus, becoming in 2004, Mr. Alberto Riveron became the first Hispanic official in the NFL. Before every game, he dedicated over 35 hours watching footage, studying the rules, and meeting with his crew. He also spent hours in the gym to keep up his fitness because if we've ever, anytime you watch a game, those officials are running up and down the field, right? We know that they're trying to keep track and keep up. So I'm glad that he also made, made sure to keep his fitness going so he could keep up with those football players. He was promoted to head referee crew chief in April 2008 following the retirements of Austin and Larry Nemers. He changed how his name was listed in order to connect more with his Latino heritage, previously listed as Al Riveron, he changed it to Alberto. And so he wanted to make sure that in 2008, he wanted to make sure that uh, his name his name and his heritage were honored. And so instead of going by Al, as he's done in the past, he decided that he wanted to go by Alberto. Riveron was the crew chief for the 2011 AFC Championship game between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. And he was the alternate refer referee of Super Bowl 46. The alternate referee obviously is there if something happens to the uh, main referee, right? The referee goes down, is injured or something, or gets sick and can't actually do the, you know, referee, then Giveron can step in. On February uh, 19, 2013, Giveron was promoted to the league senior director of officiating, a newly created position as a second in command under the league's former vice president of officiating, Dean Blandino. On May 10th, 2017, uh, Riveron became the senior vice president of officiating. And he was in that position until he retired in August of 2021. And that is Alberto Riveron. And that is who we discussed today. So again, the first Hispanic NFL official. As I mentioned also in another episode, 
uh, Latino or Hispanic Heritage Month is September 15th through October 15th. Quick reason why is because when it was first introduced, it was only a week. So Hispan it was actually Hispanic Heritage Week. And then Latino activists, Hispanic activists were like, wait a minute, why do we only get a week? And so this is why we're half in September and half in October, which is a little confusing. But anyway, just a little more tit tidbit as to why Hispanic Heritage Month was broken down this way is because it was one week in September at one point, and then finally, like, okay, yes, you deserve a month. And so this is why it's half in September and half in October. All right, but I hope everyone has a safe and wonderful weekend. I will see you next time with another episode of Diversity with Delilah. Yeah. Uh.